When we were in Korea, we met a company called Koti who were promising to revolutionize payments. They were based in Tel Aviv, and since we're right here, I thought we should give them a visit. Hey, how you hey, doing? Hi, welcome. Thank you, thank you. So is this where it all happens? This is where it all happens, yes. Shachaf, a lot of our viewers haven't seen the Korea episode where we introduce Koti to our viewers. What is Koti? Koti stands for Currency of the Internet. We are a blockchain 3.0 company and we have built the Trust Chain, which is the first blockchain protocol that is optimized for decentralized payments and stable coins. And so I thought all blockchains were optimized for, for decentralized payments. No, no, they hardly are. Um, Current blockchains usually optimize either for immutability or for decentralized computing like Ethereum or EOS. But when you literally try to transact with them, you realize that you have problems with the scalability, transaction costs, stability, uh, identity issues, and trust issues. So we've optimized our blockchain and created a new form of blockchain that is optimized for that so it can be used for everyday transactions. And when you say optimized, what kind of protocol are you using? So we are using uh, direct acyclic draft, DEG data structure, and on top of it, we've built our own consensus protocol called the Trust Chain, which is based on a new mathematical procedure called proof of trust. And how does proof of trust work? So um, we are clustering transactions according to a trust score that we assign to each participant in the network. And with that, we can do parallel uh, consensus and, and achieve greater scalability with lower cost. But you must be compromising on something by getting the this, this speed. What are you compromising on? Are well, you compromising on security? Are you susceptible to an attack? With, with DAG, you have uh, two disadvantages. One, it is very complicated to develop uh, a robust system. This is why we have uh, a grand R&D team that is dealing with that. And the second thing is, yes, you are more susceptible to what is known as a double spend attacks. We have created a new form of nodes called double spend prevention nodes that actually uh, combats that successfully. So let's go check out the R&D team. OK, let's go. let's go. This here is our uh, content and marketing team. Awesome. Beautiful view. Yeah. And, uh, this here is our R&D team, uh, where we have uh, full stack developers, back end, front end, uh, data scientists, and mathematicians all working on the protocol. Awesome. So Shachaf, this is the R&D team. Talk to me about some of the features that the guys are building onto this DAG technology. So. Um, one of the most interesting thing that we've developed is uh, our bioseller protection. So right now with cryptocurrencies, if you're paying with a cryptocurrency, it's irreversible. You can't charge back these transactions. One of the things that we've developed is a decentralized chargeback mechanism where people can cancel a transaction in case the product was not developed. Now you said scalability, and that's the big question here. How many transactions per second are you talking about? Well, right now in this room, we're already doing 10,000 transactions per second, and that is uh, when the network is not even grown. When it will grow, scale will be almost infinite because the only thing that will matter will be uh, the number of participants in the network. You're talking about 10,000 transactions per second, but is this project product actually deployed at the moment? Are merchants actually using it, or are these transactions test transactions? So the cool thing and the announcement that I want to make today is that once this show is aired, we are revealing our code on GitHub so anybody can watch it. And we are releasing right now our net. And all of this will become public right now. In October, we are rolling out our decentralized payment network with uh, a lot of merchants and a lot of consumers actually using the product. So you actually have merchants that have signed up to use Koti. More than 5,000 merchants have signed up to use Cotipay, our decentralized payment network. And on the other hand, we already have enterprises and uh, uh, payment developers and payment processors that are using our protocol to develop their own applications on top of it. Shachaf, have you guys raised money? Yeah, we had a great demand for our first round of uh, fundraising where we've raised uh, $15 million. Uh, that was a few months ago. And uh, we will raise more money in the future. We've decided to raise funds only when our product is already launched as, as part of how we see um, uh, blockchain fundraising should be uh, these days. Great. So if our viewers want more information or maybe even want to get involved in your next sale, where can they go? They should go to koti.io and, and contact us. Uh, we also have a very uh, uh, publicly known uh, Telegram channel and a Discord channel if you are a developer. 
Um, so if you want to uh, use our protocol, go to GitHub and watch everything. It is available right now. Great, Shachar, thank you very much. Thank you. Israel has taken a very different approach to